Today we're going to walk through planning and executing an explore mission in a mining environment with XNAI. As you can see from our initial scan, it looks like we're near the entrance of a stope. So we're going to plan a mission to autonomously explore the cavity in front of us. The first step is to grab our Fly 2 waypoint. This directs the robot towards the area you want to explore. You can move the waypoint through X and Y space by grabbing the disk, and move it through Z by grabbing the orb in the middle, like so. Let's position this waypoint at the base of the stope. Now we can grab the explore volume, much like we did the waypoint, and define an area of interest. You can use the squares at each corner to adjust the bounds of the volume. And the orb to define the height. Since this is a stope we're exploring, we want to go up around 50 meters. Okay, looks like we're all set. With our mission locked in, all that's left to do is press play and let the robot explore. I switched our camera view so we're locked onto the robot's position to follow it in real time. You can access that through the menu icons on the left side of XView. As the robot starts its mission, you can see a small green box that represents the robot's goal, which it chooses for itself. The larger green box represents a safe flight corridor. After reaching the first waypoint, the robot enters explore mode and flies upward to search every area of the stope. Once the robot's decided it explored everywhere it can, it starts to return home. This is a great time to check if there are any areas of the stope you've missed in case you want to send the robot back in for another mission. Then once the robot has landed, you can extract the raw point clouds directly through XView to be used in any of your downstream software. On to the next stope.